today we will be talking about numpy means we are going to start this particular series if you are interested in learning when was it started who started this and all this stuff then i highly recommend you to go through its documentation and i'll provide this link into the description section what i am going to explain you is about what are its element how do we walk into this in numpy num stands for numeric pi stands for python right so that's why we call it numpy in this we in this also we work with arrays which primarily is a list but that's quite fa relatively faster than a basic list right so if you see over here at the core of the numpy package is the and array so the object which we primarily use in numpy those are called and arrays now if you are someone who has not installed numpy in your python then what you can do is you can say pip install python all right this is this is the all which you need to do and then pip install numpy sorry you're gonna say pip install numpy and after this the numpy will be installed in your device okay and after that what you need to do is you're gonna import that particular thing to import that you're gonna say import numpy this will be installed this will be imported and you can use that but numpy itself looks a big words so what i do is i give an alias to it and i say import numpy as np <clears throat> now that we have already installed because i already have installed numpy so i will not run this particular patch i just executed this one now because we already have this particular thing imported if you want to see what all are the functions that are available in this particular library then you can do this and you can check out all those functions this is going to be dir so these all are the functions which are available in numpy and that you can utilize these are quite huge so we will be covering the things which are most frequently used and let's go one by one here in this video we are going to talk about its base object which is arrays right so to create an array what we can do is we simply say np dot np is nothing but numpy np dot array and in that you provide your value let's say this so this is created this is an array which has been created now to check the dimension of this array we use a function called ndim so this value i will just store in the a variable which is called x in that i will just install it and to check the dimension of this particular array i will use x dot and dim and you see it says zero so this is a zeroth dimension array right so here if you see these are nothing but actually elements of an array or one or elements of a 1d array okay this is what it is so any number you just specifically provide in an array that's going to be a zero dimensional array now we create one dimensional array so one dimensional array you might we already have seen that we create some list value something like this so this is nothing but an array and to make it a numpy array what we're gonna say is np dot array and we just gonna enclose this in the square bracket sorry in a bracket and then we will just assign it in a variable and then we will check its dimension and dim so you see here it says one dimensional array right let's create a two dimensional array so if you see over here here it says having zero d arrays as its element so one dimensional array would have the zero dimensional arrays as its element similarly two dimensional array will have one dimensional array as its element then similarly three dimensional arrays will have two dimensional arrays as its element right 
and so on it will keep on increasing what is it which makes it a dimension nothing but the square brackets let's say here is a variable which i am creating np array and inside that i'm just creative putting one square bracket and let's check it out check out its dimensions right so you see it says one dimension we just use one square bracket inside that if you use another square bracket it says two dimensional array so like i said having one d array as its element so you see the outer one the outer square bracket is the 2d because that has one dimensional inside it right so that's what called the one dimensional array same if you go if you come over here right and because this is already two dimensional and if you enclose this inside another square bracket this will be a third dimensional array right here you see this this is going to be the third dimensional array so square brackets inside square bracket inside square bracket makes a third dimensional array let me explain you this with the help of this graphics so you see this is the i'm trying to explain you dimensions with the help of earth layers right so you see this most inner one this one is something which we can consider as zeroth dimension then the dimension which comes outside of it that we can consider as first dimension then the dimension which comes after words or outside of that that we can consider as second dimension and then the outermost we can consider as the third dimension right so each layer represents a dimension and each layer consists of another one so in terms of python numpy here this is the first dimension right and this is the second dimension so you see first dimension has zeroth dimension as its content the second dimension has first dimension as its content then the outermost which is third dimension has second dimension as its content so this is how we can consider about the arrays now i will quickly take you back over here and inside this you see we had created we were creating the second dimension array right two dimension array 2d arrays right so inside this the most inner one inside which we can put the values and this is still remains second dimension right if you want to have another array let's try to put another one inside this itself and see what happens does it change the array no so this is the outer one inside that whatever list you put that still going to be the 2d arrays the moment you create another array inside this right that will that's gonna be okay sorry so when we enclose these 2d arrays inside another one this becomes the 3d array so i will explain you 3d array over here <coughs> let me create a 1d array right so here i have this value this is 1d array now i'm going to enclose this in another square bracket and you see this becomes 2d array right so we can have many list of this 2d inside this 2d array the moral is over here the point is if you see this this is the outermost and inside that as many list you want you can keep that's still going to be the 2d array right so if you want you can change its values that's gonna be better right and you see this is still a 3d array what we can do is over here let's try to enclose this inside a bracket and see what changes happens so this becomes 1d array you see how this is changing right so the moment you created it inside this everything is you see this this is also into two square brackets these are also into a square bracket so it converts it into the 1d array how can you make it 2d right so you don't have to enclose this one what you're gonna do is you just select this entire and then put it inside this then again you are back to the 3d array now if you enclose this in another square bracket that will become 4d array right so this is how the dimensions keeps on increasing i will keep this much 
of the information in this particular video in the next one we will see how to slice and dice or, or index the uh, multi-dimensional arrays wish you very happy